of February of 1967. General Hoku was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Combat B for Valor, the Navy Commendation Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award, and the Purple Heart with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award. Private First Class Group continued the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Corps Lodge mascots dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Marine Lodge mascot for the Marine Corps Bears Project. Private First Class Group was being designated by the Office of Education Strategy and Operations as the Pacific Guard. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Amy Ruth Bryant, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Holy One, on this day of great celebration, we give you thanks for these young men of Company D who have earned the title Marine. We give you thanks for the gifts and abilities you have given to each one of them, which they now bring to strengthen our Marine Corps. We give you thanks for the drill instructors, company officers, and battalion leadership who have shaped and molded these young men into Marines. We are grateful this day for the families who have supported them every step of their journey, for their mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, aunts, uncles and friends, we give you thanks. We ask, O Holy One, that you be with these new Marines as they continue in their training. Keep them safe and bless them. Remind them to be always faithful to their country, to their core, to each other, and to themselves, just as you, O Holy One, are always faithful. Bless our nation. Bless these new Marines. And God, bless the United States Marine Corps. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The depot is also home to recruiter school and drill instructor school. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. This morning, Company D, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The commander troops is Captain Randall Rainey, Company Commander, Company D, 1st Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Captain Alec Ray, Executive Officer, Company D, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention at the adjutant's command. Sound adjutant's call will begin today's parade. Marching 
in H Parade are 225 of the graduate Marines from Company D. Among the 225 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Pilot S. Hale Braun from Platoon 1074 is the company high shooter, scoring 337 out of 350. Pilot Wyatt Reed from Platoon 1065 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 292 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company undergraduate recruiter, Sergeant Daniel Valdez. Also present today is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 215 out of 250, Corporal Isaac J. Asinas Hernandez. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines to function effectively in garrison. Are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing. Consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wear and maintenance of uniforms. A street accord, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and form others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, History proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with skilled resolve, a drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our story legacy. Marines today remain in combat or deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have borne our proud legacy. And to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company D, today marks the end of the 30-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade deck, and have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization.
The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command.
following the command. Parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. Sensor march. All unit commanders and guide bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to care and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for First Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Ryans, and Regimental Commander Colonel Rumler, welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Delta Company. I'd like to extend a special welcome to today's Marine Reviewing Official, who's impressive by all you'll hear in a moment. Commander, Marine, Fleet Marine Forces Atlantic, Commanding General of Marine Forces Command, and Commanding General of Marine Forces North, Lieutenant General Cabinet. Welcome, sir. Thank you for being here. Today's ceremony recognizes your new Marine and all they've accomplished in the last 13 weeks. Gathering here as individuals from all walks of life and all corners of the globe, they stepped onto the legendary yellow footprints and into uncertainty. They trained hard, they dug deep, they came together and stand before you as a confident team of Marines, the best this nation has to offer. Now, this transformation that you bear witness to today certainly didn't happen on its own. So I'd like to thank those that made it possible. The foundation of their character wasn't made here. It was made in your homes, in your schools, and in your communities. So thank you, the parents, families, friends, teachers, and coaches. Your love, your support, and for many, your signature on the contract set conditions vital to their success. So thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. Second, our spectacular drill instructors who spent every moment teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these Marines. The dedication and commitment has left a lasting, positive impact on your loved one, who will always remember and appreciate their efforts. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the officers and drill instructors are able to commit themselves to the business of making Marines because of the love and support of their families who also join us in the audience today. So if you would, please join me in a round of applause for the drill instructors and families of Delta Company. I'd also like to recognize our martial arts, marksmanship, water survival, and academics instructors, our outstanding chaplain, corpsman, and the entire medical team who've done a tremendous job keeping us physically, mentally, and spiritually strong. And of course, the dedicated recruiter that saw potential in your Marine. In fact, joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion is Corporal Aceves Hernandez, responsible for training the platoon with the highest rifle qualification score. And joining us from recruiting substation Reno, Nevada, is Sergeant Perez, responsible for recruiting today's Army graduate. Outstanding work, Marines. Please excuse me while I address the Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. You made it to graduation. You earned the Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you earned the look of pride on your loved one's face across this parade deck. It took you 13 weeks to earn this feeling, but it doesn't stop here. We promised you a challenge, and we will continue to deliver. You must continue to earn the title every day to honor the legacy of those that came before you and to blaze a trail for the next wave of warriors. The Marine Corps will be what you make it so never forget the skills, the spirit, and the values that have been drilled into you 
and I guarantee your success. You represent the Marine Corps now. You're the future of this great institution. You are my replacement, and you are the replacement of your drill instructors. So stand tall and take charge. When you get home on leave, make sure that you introduce your buddies to your local recruiters. Congratulations, Marines. Thank you for your hard work and for your dedication to serve this great nation of ours. Take care of each other and cultivate the relationships you've made with your fellow Marines. They will serve you well. Welcome to the Corps, Semper Fidelis. Now taking their position in the reviewing area as today's great reviewing official, Lieutenant General Brian W. Kavanaugh, Commanding General, Fleet Marine Force Atlantic. He is accompanied by Brigadier General James A. Rhines II, Commanding General, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego, and the Western Recruiting Region. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to Lieutenant General Kavanaugh, as is customary for higher ranking officials in the military. We will be firing a traditional volley of fire. Please warn anyone in your family who is sensitive to ammunition fire to prepare themselves for the cannon blasts. Thank you. Please be seated. <laughs> Lieutenant General Kavanaugh, a native to Baltimore, Maryland, earned his commission through the United States Naval Academy in 1990 and was designated a naval aviator in 1992. Throughout his career, Lieutenant General Kavanaugh has accumulated over 3,000 flight hours. He has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include aide de camp to the Chief of Naval Operations, Deputy Commander at United States Marine Forces Pacific, Assistant Deputy Commandant at Programs and Resources Department, Headquarters Marine Corps, Commanding General at First Marine Aircraft Wing, Marine Military Assistant to the 75th Secretary of the Navy, Lieutenant General Kavanaugh currently serves as the Commanding General, Fleet Marine Force Atlantic. Commander, Marine Forces Command, and Commander, Marine Forces Northern Command. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lieutenant General Brian W. Kavanaugh.
The pass and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
1,079, Series Commander, Captain Patricia McNamara, and Platoon 1,079, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant Luis A. Lucio.
spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in routine through their service and relationship with their crew instructors and officers. The crew training is the very foundation of the goal. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the goal. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is what a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our goal, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company D prepares for the final dismissal from Bhutan, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill a fundamental premise that every Marine is a right man. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Randall Rainey. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Fernando Fuentes. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company B. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidelines. The guidelines have been carried by the platoon throughout the crew training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of the teams. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidelines which identify the unit or source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidelines is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete with the titles of series and company honor graduates. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps.
The Guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.
company first, Sergeant, when I give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Please keep in mind the level of training you will receive and afford the same opportunities to the 